favorite things about being an epidemiologist is just the variety to the job. There's never a boring day. And really being able to go after those answers to research questions that I myself can now go out and try to find the answers. And I absolutely love my job. It's, um, I feel like I'm actually doing a good thing. I'm impacting potentially workers' lives. And there's just no price you can put on that. My mother works at NIOSH and has been there since I was a young child. My mom brought me in for Mother-Daughter Day, probably in my mid-teens, and I got to see what epidemiologists do, and I got to hang out um, with industrial hygienists and other researchers and kind of see what they do, and that was sort of my first introduction. I never expected to be in epidemiology. I started out wanting to be a teacher and then I couldn't afford to go to school. And then when I could afford to go to school, I thought I'm gonna be a clinical psychologist. So I went into psychology. One of the reasons I went into psychology was there was no math or science or so I thought. And then they required statistics. The teaching assistant for that course really had a huge impact on my trajectory into the field of science. Um, she got me through that course. She really helped me with statistics, but more than that, she said, look, you need to be a research assistant. You need to get into the honors program. You need to be a teaching assistant. Here are the things you need to do to go forward. And without her, I don't think I would have done well. I don't think I would have stayed in science. She really had a huge impact on my life. When I was thinking about a PhD program, I thought, I can't really do that. Those are super smart people, and I don't really have those kind of qualities. Well, I decided to go ahead and try it anyway. And when I tried it, I was like, wait a minute, I can do this. And it was, I found out that it really had more to do with just sticking with it and less to do with being super smart. We want to make sure we're really employing the best measures to protect workers. And we don't want to guess about what those best measures are. We actually want to find evidence to say these are working, these are not working, and then employ those preventative measures. When I'm doing research, I can look for the most accurate answer possible. And I don't have to worry about what that answer is. There is not an answer that I should find. It is what it is, and we can go with it. You want to make sure that the job you love doesn't become the job you hate because it's taking over your entire life. So I really try to set aside time for family, for friends, for spiritual life, for sports. It just really makes you a more effective person when you come to the job. If you have any interest at all in science, or maybe even if you don't, try it. You're not gonna know until you try it whether or not you can do it, which you probably can, and whether or not you're going to like it, and you may just love it. That's what happened to me. Um, I thought I couldn't do it, I was wrong, I could do it, I could do it well, and I ended up loving it.